Okay, I'm good. Oh, yeah, everyone else good? Good. Oh, well, one after this, I'm going to be able to be one to make up the time shift. No, I've six minutes. You know, me, super first time. Can you jump to the other two? John, after I'm just playing defense. After you first, my third street, lost one for the one. It was one set of the one in team fairness. First eight points after being up to argument. Actually, can see the authority fairness by presuming the judge will evaluate failure to be what felt evaluation of the fairness of the magistrate. When you really develop the one, if one bit of hand and danger of another, being incongruent to the ability to the truth of their argument. So, you grow cross applications from substance. So, if they form the fruits of the world, the ballot in a normal ethical framework, the name must concede one of them. If you violate by contesting both, but by a strategy, it's possible the one who will be able to frame all the ballot. You can frame man multiple ways and be much of the after two impossible in four minutes. Every activity advantage after explosion, one in time allocation, always after this, you can see one. Negative debate, 
the September, October 9th, this year, Dr. 12, 1st, 2024, the uh, judge is a non educated way for the idea of the art, last five, logical documents, movie, for the political violence, and the cake critiques, and the elegance, and the elegance, I just don't want to play drugs, go back in 21. I like to judge, I know, just have arguments, legitimate teachers, student judges, ever since priority, for the only understanding of the worst crime, choosing to get trapped in one way of thinking, students, judges that accept the authority of the government, the goodness, Spanish ideas, based on their position, they don't have to look into the views of others, they have an obligation to enforce the consent of the law, doctor, and they is the foundation of political violence, due to religious persecution, indigenous linguistic violation, and physical genocide, the way to have this built on a history of settler colonialism, forced displacement, so that every disproportion that impacts Native women, or TTH, 23, hundreds of years of settler colonialism, indigenous society, migration, as well, does a tribal sovereignty, like the Native communities grappling with how country develops, the women and the women of color, and then they were Native Americans, to pay less than 59 cents on the dollar for every white man, and the wages are driven down to a short discrimination, lost wages, the Native women have their less than money to support them, so that they would gap more than men, then a woman would have enough money to eliminate the wage gap, would find a much needed income for seeing the households and mythological politics, and key to avoid dogma, demands, dogmas, that plans, that analysis, that would cause the decay of money, to legal ethics, to legal capture of interest, to build societies, ability to respond to a safe, designed to use abilities to hinge on the upholstering, uh, resilience, to save the humankind from extinction, transform it to justification from exterminating our humans for the sake of a greater good, only that, including plurality, for scientists, can ask for eternity, overcome self interest, they're equipped to discuss the religion of sacrifice for human survival, only political field of exit, you study, so you can learn the continuing place, communication, capitalism, and imperialism, study, you know, the human survival, and the thought of energy, school, and the answer, all my connections, and health, and inoculation, to the time, good day, and essentially, the loss of life, and freedom of survival, uh, consequences, fail, want to count for all foreseen, uh, consequences, for plan action, because all interests will be held responsible for actions that are outside the will, and it would remove any reason to be moral, because you'd be held responsible for consequences that you, for actions that do not relate to the will, which means that there's no reason to be moral. Also, if a butterfly flex means that many consequences lead to another consequence, means butterfly flex caps the framework, because there's always something interesting in the future that might cause extinction, which means that the framework never really collapses. Those are just analytics. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, stuff off dock at the bottom, what was it? Yeah, it was, uh, uh, camp, uh, consequences failed because to account for consequences would, uh, force agents to be responsible for, uh, actions that come outside of the will, I consequences okay. that they didn't will. Uh, also it moves any reason to be moral because you're being punished for consequences uh, you didn't So intend. culpability, butterfly effect? And the butterfly effect, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I guess the framing ethical interactionism, um, why does proving that we interact with agents mean there's an obligation through these interactions? What? Like, so, the argument is that obligations only arise through our interactions with agents. Why right? are we all, so why, does this, why is this obligation binding between mm -hmm. relations for agents just because there are exchanges between agents? Oh, well, yeah, that gets into like the later part of the framework, which is the volition part, i.e. why we should respect other agents is because, and the recognition part, because we have a will that we use to relate to the world in order to be recognized in a community. We must have other people recognize us and respect the will of others since we must respect the will of ourselves. Okay. I guess, where actions. have you read any evidence about political philosophy for what the government ought to do? I mean, our framework tells us what agents should do. We say government. Is the government an agent? The government is made up of agents. So, is the government able to do things like jail murders? Yeah, like that. Is that coercion? As me, as a private agent, am I allowed to independently jail someone? Well, well, you're not the government. Wait, so what is the distinction between me and the government if the government is made up of agents? Well, we say the government is made up of agents and then people give the government power by, like, and so is the government distinct from agency on an well, individual level? Well, not well. We say like no, because a government official and you as an agent. Okay, are like if this is true, where like, has where have you read any evidence in the framework that justifies what the government ought to do that is distinct from citizens or agents? Well, we say that the government is made up of agents. They ought to treat people in ways that are non-alienating. They ought not to. You know, okay, so they ought to include people within the ethical sure. community. Like if you say that governments are distinct, we'll say that in the domain of agents, and our framework would obligate governments to act. Because it's a question of how they would treat those citizens, okay. which again we should say is in non-alienating ways. The ethical community of the citizens um, is something fine. that they Thank have. You. Nothing should do. Um, is drunk driving bad? Uh, well, if you are like drunk driving, intending to kill someone, that's intending to kill someone is bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do we how do we know that if we drunk drive, we're going to kill someone? Well, I mean, it's a question of your intention. Right? It's a question of my intention. Yeah. I don't. I don't drive drunk because I intend to kill someone. I drive drunk because I intend to go home and save an Uber fare. Is that still moral? Okay, well, we would say that like a moral agent would consider other people and they would say... So a moral agent would consider the consequences of an action? That no, they would consider the people. consequences of the action. Then actions. what is drunk driving killing someone absent a consequence? What? Like, it's just intending to kill someone. Intending that's violating other agents. So if I drunk drive but I do not intend to kill someone, that's okay. Well, we would say that if you don't intend to kill someone, then yeah. Like if you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll take that. It's five minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry.
335 remaining. Uh, the order is three in case, but disclaimer, I probably will skip the third off. Says a tiny lead, but it's closed more. Sign 17. Elections are decided by the state polls. The state polls show a real against for Harris polling movement is correlated from state to state. The forecast margin Trump is currently equal to or smaller than 1.5 points in Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Harris is 61 and 100 chance of winning. And broad sweeping wage increase policies are perceived by voters as economically harmful and inflationary to in Michigan, Pujo 823. Republican lawmakers not the only ones raising concerns about minimum wage changes. The court broad ruling could lead to five false options. One, I had to address over time with the approach. I was ambiguous as to how to interpret and implement accounting for inflation. A new survey business owners argue change will spell economic disaster. New business directors will cause havoc and artificially spike costs. Many business owners and employees care about their Cared about these effects, these measures will have to do much off and optimism about short and long term prospects. And Trump 2.0 causes, causes vertical escalatory arms racing, causes nuclear war with Russia and China, Kimball 24. Existential risk imposed by nuclear weapons continues to grow, crucial factor in whether nuclear challenges erupt in full scale crisis with the result of US election. A major responsibility for any commander in chief is to avoid events that can lead to nuclear war for Ukraine and Taiwan, Biden declaring use of nuclear weapons in Israel. Trump engaging in threats of unleashing fire and fury and effective arms control will be critical to avoid arms race after start expired. Trump refused to agree to simple extension of Biden's days of shield, new running leader, defending Vladimir Putin. Putin. Came ramped up nuclear development and the presidential leadership, maybe. The most important factor that determines the risk of nuclear arms racing proliferation of war. Next off. I negate the value and I negate and value moralities and saw it as fine as moral obligation. Only naturalism avoids evolutionary de debunking. Alternative frameworks can't ground moral knowledge since they can't justify why human moral beliefs reflect truth instead of accident. Fitzpatrick 16. We believe propositions because we recognize their truth recognizing good reasons for believing them just as in the mathematical case. We will take as many of their moral beliefs who have been relevantly guided by the moral justificatory facts. We will reject the explanatory claims that our beliefs are accidental. Oh, our explanations are showing engagement of justification internal to the inquiry in question would miss something crucial to the explanation of the belief. No one will start a confident that he knows human, tra human trafficking to be wrong can be expected to move to accept merely or evolutionary explanations of our beliefs as being exhaustive. Our moral experience of grasping moral truth to preclude a became a king explanation of our beliefs and the meta ethics, naturalism, and morality must be based on an empirical knowledge derived from the natural world preferred first. We can't obtain knowledge of non-natural moral facts. We can in sixteen. Naturally, that non -nat and non -nor that, that normative properties are like other properties, and natural properties causally impact our senses. And I know the book on my desk is rectangular because photons are reflexes. My retina and normative properties are like part of the causal network of the world. We can observe normative facts as we do all other facts. Non-natural properties first cannot be observed. Second, are not part of the causal nexus of the world. These features non-natural properties while using both our senses and science and knowing when it acts is good. Non-natural must have an a priori methods. It's unclear how reasoning is sensitive to the non-natural properties and. Second, your neuroscience proves that intentions are products of physical phenomena. Gen 11. Neural activity precedes the mental, uh, mental event itself. The neurological process of the act commences three times a second before I become aware of my intention or mental experiences do not arise out of nowhere but of the product of the brain. There is no reason it need to resort to any extra physical variables such as our thoughts, intentions, and conscious will to explain our existence and actions. And naturalism justifies the goodness of the pleasure, the fact that agents desire to be happy generates natural knowledge that happiness is good. McCord 01. Knowledge is divided by our senses. When we look at what appears right to us, we have evidence that things are right. We are desiring things. We have evidence that things are good. We never desire things. We never get evidence that things were good. And we never have developed the concept of value in that. Absence of the relevant experiences, we would like the capacity to make judgments in the first place. Thus, the standard is maximizing expectable being prefer first. Side for can only be justified in re reference to uh, external values. Cumin's key 90. Agent centered constraints require non value based on rationality of the moral laws, but based on the value of rational beings. Promoting the teachers of value would be the goal of moral action. We are obligated to promote the conditions necessary for the existence of rational beings. The continue may not have to sacrifice some rational beings in order to promote the existence of other rational beings. The second, extinction precludes inevitable moral progress, means it's better to keep our options open. Max skill 14. Extinction is irreversible. If we continue to, uh, if we continue to exist, we have the option of letting ourselves go extinct in the future. But we can't magically bring ourselves back. We should expect ourselves to, to progress morally over the next few centuries. We should expect that in a few centuries' time we have better evidence to have a value human extinction than we currently have. The cost of waiting is vanishingly small compared to the benefit of keeping one's options open while one gains new information. Uh, skip the rough case. Overview, counter dribble, defend the converse versus ground, and fill, uh, fill out and debate about education are both uniquely good, arbitrarily limiting one is bad, and we should be able to contest both of the affirmative arguments for strategy. Second, no chasque, it allows an auto win ask where they can read trivialism as a framework and vote at an auto app as a rule of the value, which makes an impossible debate and an infinitely abusive, and no death of clash, one ear collapse, all strategic concessions are strategic concessions are good. Consequences fails, first, no culpability, the util just compares two end states, which means we don't need culpability for morality. For morality, we think agents shouldn't necessarily be held culpable, we can still analyze end states of the world, for governments uniquely, second is butterfly effect. Butterfly effect does not make sense. Calculate to the point of this utility. Eventually, the probability runs to zero, which is sufficient. Uh, framework. 
Oh, also independently, I'm uh, sorry, independently ASPEC also resolves all the consequences fail stuff because means the government has a role to weigh between trade-offs. The, the affirmative cannot explain this if the government is full of agents. Um, framework. Or overview, sorry. First permissibility and presumption of A for constitutive of athletes, when everything is moral and erratic is the binary between right and wrong that creates paralysis that proves justifying actions impossible. And eventually, if everything is moral, it justifies moral repugnance, like Hitler was right. <laughs> Belief is not equivalent to objective moral truth. B. Semantics all by definition requires justification, which means absent of productive justification or obligation. You vote nice and such a trichotomy between prohibition and obligation of permissibility, and proving one disproves the other two. And semantics outweighs A. It's key to predictability since we prefer the wording of the resolution. And B. is constitutive to the rules of the day since it is obligated to vote in the resolutional text. C. Safety. It's very ethically safe to presume this goes since, you know, since we know what this goes. We don't know whether the act will be good or if ethics are incoherent. We'll skip the or e negating is harder. A F gets just in last speech, which controls the direction of the debate. B F is can strategically upload in the one or even them six, seven times given splitting the two in RC they get into time to develop a reason to vote F two, yes two in our arguments against new implications, new one year arguments, A rest proceeding new one year would auto win every round absent two in our answers, B we only answer new one year extrapolations arguments, which is not infinite B C though two areas three minutes to stand back the two in our we don't get to weigh three one year dead theory is this edit drop the argument and it results of use the one is eight recollapse the substance than two in our otherwise versus the next event infinite norms diff for use reason ability competing in terms of arbitrary and we should weigh substance also versus the, uh, the abuse to clarify the one year can read theory it just must be substance a sufficiently large abuse to outweigh substance of truth testing the role of that is determined the better debater we say use comparative rules to first innovation people research plans learns about the world the key to top education seconds advocacy skills that are terribly stand defensive often so we never have an active all uh, advocacy voters since we have to advocate for solutions to mess up things in the world see reciprocity one one percent infinite skept tautology is a key to better engagement to forward truth testing and phrases because it, it, it excludes chaos and performance rejected for inclusion of material realities debater face the line line first constituents and fails to Recognize the making change the rules, picks and theory and plans and evil proof. Debate is known to the rules, this two jurisdiction, A empirically denied, people read you know, not all the time, judge over them. P non is our fallacy just because they're rules of debaters on them doesn't mean it has to be that way. Three, Yale term rules just set the resolution, but it doesn't say we have to debate or bind us up to the resolution. Soma hasn't been reading topical stuff all day. Four says many things are irrelevant, we can use procon. There's no justification for other good framework. Two massive concessions on the framework. First is drunk driving. They can't prove why drunk driving is bad, absent consequences, which means consequences must be factored into our intentions. Process is clear. They have an intuitive understanding that drunk driving is bad and they're running circles around it. Two, they're missing an intrinsic warrant for political philosophies. There's no reason the government has any obligations except under util extinction hijacks in order to protect relationality. The government should prevent extinction independently. If the government is made up of agents, we've done no ability to decide distribution of property rights negate. If we win operating principles, don't matter. It answers to epistemology. Reason is based in empiric system, all the stuff above. First, training to see there's a disconnect between the capacity to engage in moral character and the obligations from these exchanges like me and recognize interaction without them. Two, linguistics are a social contract or a tool for convenience. It's not intrinsic to morality. Three, induction works. A, good is good enough. We know this one will rise. B, their arguments based on induction. Induction and deduction are distinct, just like deduction isn't inductively justified. Four, volition is wrong. A, objecting the will of others can be conditionally good, like jailing murders or self defense. B, foundations are arbitrary. There are infinite bases for ethical subjects, which collapses because every moral code is different. If white is to blackness, it forms a racist ethical consideration. You go for a cross. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'll start it now. Uh, let's talk about the framework. Uh, the McCord evidence. Naturalism justifies the goodness of pleasure. Uh, where does the evidence point this? Yeah, <clears throat> so there's a few warrants. First, when we desire things, we create value. Value does not exist absent desiring things empirically, i.e. Uh, I like vanilla ice cream. The only justification for it is that I like vanilla ice cream. That's an intrinsic desire. Um, the second idea is that the concept of value doesn't hold in the absence of relevant experiences, i.e. I don't know what death is, absence empiricism. I don't know what murder is, absence empiricism. I don't know why like stabbing someone is bad, absent knowing that they are going to die. Okay, uh, so pleasure is good. Is, is pain bad then? Because um, like I could just... Yes, pain is this. bad. Uh, Where'd you mark, where'd you end the doc again? Um, I ended it at the 4B point. Four. So I read 4B and I did not read um, Fallacy of Origin or 5. Okay, don't anything else, I think. Uh, let's... Oh, I also didn't read third off, but... The fun, yeah. Uh, the, what's it called? The Macca skill evidence, can you explain it? Um, Maca skill, um, extinction is bad. We think that uh, absent complete moral understandings, uh, we should keep moral progress and continue thinking about the world. Where have you the wanted that we thinking. don't have complete moral understandings? Sorry? Where have you wanted that we don't have complete moral understandings? Um, every single objection to your framework. Okay. Uh, how and every mean? single reason why util is good. Okay. Well, then if I win objections to util, then like, 
why would we continue following util? Because like at the same time, like philosophers have been debating for thousands of years. It's not just that you like win the framework because that presumes you're right on arguments. You have to be so correct that no argument has any doubt in anybody's mind that is like that it's true, which is just like no doubt. Good luck. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Like, uh, every single independent sentence and warrant in my card is like cold hard facts wrong. Like sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, the extinction precludes, does that mean like it always under any framework? Like, it doesn't seem to be... Yeah, it always under any framework. Okay. Uh... Or, let me clarify, it outweighs under frameworks that are consequential specifically. Uh, so, okay. That's nice. Uh... Or, if consequences matter. If, if consequences matter. Okay. Uh, the volition is wrong argument, can you explain it? Um, like yeah. the, the B point. The B point. Um, foundations in the way we form relations are arbitrary. For example, like whiteness tied to blackness. If this relationality was how we define our moral code, it would lead to like really racist implications and ethical considerations that are bad. Independently, there's also infinite bases because like we have okay. multiple different uh, methods of I... relationality. If an agent gets to pick which method of relationality they can isolate, that's what okay. causes things like settler colonialism. Cool. Also or racism.
Okay, that's fine. Uh, the order is gonna be like the overview. Uh, what's it called? Four move off. You tell. So substantive. Hey, I was expecting a K. If it was a K, it would have been really substantive. Okay. That's so cool. Dude, no, it would be. Okay, okay. Send the overview for. Yeah, let me let me send this up. Okay. Is there anything on the media contention? Yeah. Well, it's just me like on the like YouTube. Also, can see that it would cause infinite, it would cause infinite culpability. They just straight 
that they respond to that argument which means you can't use consequences means that the arguments don't matter because they said in the extinction only a race of consequences matter like all the naturalism stuff doesn't matter because we don't care about it, which is we say natural facts do matter you haven't justified why pain or pleasure matter the court is literally just naturalism but our framework says that natural facts do matter we're not winning con the other argument about consequences mattering is literally in the context of con which proves that it, which proves that it, which proves that it takes it out um Oh, also the last argument, the last argument I'm going to answer is the night flex argument that he used to cross-apply to any of the shells. It's infinitely unpredictable and just generally doesn't have an argument. Contextual violations on shells should outweigh independently at independently flex because you know, forming, uh, forming the other which is just fighting the overview plus uh, 746 through time 2 and they get, infin and they get infinite prep time. Oh, it's just, just uh, it's, it's just like a K. K. It's, it's just Anhedonia, um, was, what was the rape objection? Uh, it's that util can't justify intrinsic wrongness. Like, if asked the question, it's rape okay, a utilitarian wouldn't be able to say no, because they'd have to question the state of affairs that it would produce. Because it's not, there's nothing intrinsically bad about it, it's just a question of pain and pleasure. for URL formatting and what? Uh, the NSDA rules thing. It's like yeah. it is an NSDA rule. You shouldn't be able to look at NSDA rules. And then web ethics can't check whether or not you know, like evidence exists. And then the one air shells. Okay. Um, let me know if everyone's good. Oh. Actually, let me hope the phone doesn't crash. Okay. <clears throat> um, Riley, 
Yeah. Start in the framework page first, you should filter all of these are all these arguments because forcing us to defend a morally abhorrent framework is bad. If you think it's bad, you should automatically drop it and strike it off the flow. And hedonia is about depression. Depressed people still feel emotions and pleasure as well as future capacity for pleasure outweighs. There's no instance in which a human feels no examples of pleasure or pain. And the, the other uh, the like a sexual assault is objection. Every state of affairs for sexual assault is wrong. Under utility, we can make claims like death is bad or sexual assault is bad because there's no circumstance where the pleasure will outweigh anywhere near the pain unless they prove uh, unless they prove otherwise. The proximal practices uh, the proximal practices and accessibility of voting issues both presume the idea of safety but dropping the argument resolves it and allows us to uh, allows us to focus back on things that are not sort of bad or harmful to debate in the first place induction fails uh we'll concede it it doesn't matter um the framework page they have conceded the, the Gianetti evidence. This is a determinism link. It says neural activity precedes the mental event itself, which means we have no capacity for things like reason. And this will straight conceded, which means it triggers presumption of permissibility. They didn't answer the actual warrant for presumption of permissibility on the case page. Presumption of permissibility negates its constitution of ethics, and they have a semantical obligation by all, by definition, which means they have to prove a distinction between prohibition, obligation, permissibility. Permissibility is distinct from this, which means it negates. Um, plus, they conceded safety. It's ethically safer to presume the scope. Um, the shells. The shells first drop the argument is good. The one error can read multiple shells and assaults abuse, but you should be able to weigh the abuse versus the substance loss. This is not judge interventionist. Rather, this is a way in which we can filter out which shells are good or not, i.e., they can do exactly what they did this round, in which they read infinite frivolous theory, theory shells in the one error, which collapses times new. It makes it impossible for the two and R. Yes, the two and R gets new arguments against theory shells. This was conceded in the overview above. This is beneficial. Good is good enough as intervention is wrong. Yes, so and judge intervention is inevitable because when we decide between two arguments, the judge always has to pick which one they think is more true or which argument is more convincing, but they should be able to weigh between substance education rather than reading 50 frivolous theory shells. Reading a bunch of theory shells in the one error is way more abusive and it prevents any substance uh, substantive education because we're always collapsing to frivolous theory and it creates a race to the bottom and we're never able to resolve anything. The last thing for skewing one error time is one error time skews are inevitable. Reading picks, this adds case, fill and C's, etc. will all skew time and it will all skew time in some way, especially because if you think about it, things like crosses, counterfeits, and picks are functioning nibs in the same way. The, the theory shells are no, uh, theory shells are not distinct, but one error theory getting to check back against all of that is uniquely way worse. You should filter the rest of the page through, through drop the argument and reasonability for every single one of those theory shells if you don't think it outweighs like massive amounts of Yankee education, especially because I've never debated Yankee before and I really would have loved to have a framework debate, but they chose not to. It's a reason why you should vote negative. Um, the shell's proper. The URL counter I don't have uh, to counter will defend the converse. I do not have to include a URL if it says both specifically. First, is accessibility. If there's no URL, it's impossible to send. How can I send an online text for a physical textbook? Second, you could have asked before round prospects and flex proofs. I can concede this evidence. Third, it kills accessibility. Uh, kills accessibility. There's often text and cards, etc., that we're not able to find on the internet because they're cut from things like books that are directly transcribed and it makes it impossible for responsible debaters to be included because they can never take evidence off the wiki because they don't have a physical copy of the book in order to include things like the URL. Like you cross off the argument, you should frame this is just killing the math skill evidence. It literally doesn't matter for you can cross by reasonability and check this off the flow. And if they want to see rules, they can take the round on it. There's no reason a theory shell is able to resolve all their abuse, especially because normally doesn't solve. They've been reading the theory shell forever, but nobody has added a non-existent URL to math skill. Um, the next interp. A uh, counter to the negative does not have to grant presumption or permissibility. Uh, presumption or permissibility. One error contestation is good. It justifies uh, substantive fell education and independently stops abuse. I.e., we can you can read things like presumption collapses permissibility or permissibility collapses presumption, and vice versa. Those arguments are sufficient for you to defend, but it's impossible to hold the negative to an infinite burden, which we must give you one of them, and we have to work on these triggers, which gives a one error and a new out that makes it impossible to debate on independent. Independently, it also does not justify destroying debate for time skew. The one AR and one AC get six minutes of uh, six minutes of time to justify the one and C. Uh, the one and C has been spent spend time on presumption and permissibility, but then you get access to framework debate, which means to trace off for fill education. Independently, the fill every single framework should justify against presumption and permissibility, and why it affirms that's the only way you should get fill education that is net beneficial. Um, independently, drop the argument and drop the debater. If you don't care about presumption and permissibility, you can or. You can't really strike it off the flow, but use reasonability. If it was really that bad, they could have just answered it out of the one error. Um, that's fine. The next interpretation. Counter interpretation. I do not have counter interpretation. I do not have to specify you to uh, specify which different part of maximizing is being or consequentialism. It is the mass evidence specifically says quote consequentialist theories include utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is an example of maximizing expectable being because quote it leads to the most happiness for the greatest number of people, which means we meet we specified maximizing well being enough, and well being is defined through pleasure and pain through all of our stuff through uh, through all of our evidence. You should view this as positional competition in the way you should justify which amount of which, which framework we're using. I.e., they don't specify specifically things like. Yeah, but we know their framework based on their justifications and fill education stuff we 
read, if we read specifically a ton of justifications for things like maximizing pleasure and pain, and cross also proves what is most important out of extinction is pain bad, is pleasure good, all of those things solved. Between cross checks and flex prep, flex prep checks is both sufficient independently, it does not grant. Um, it does not grant multiple negative cross uh, most answers to consequential theories that consequences fails, induction fails, pleasure and pain is bad, and everything they read out of the one year applies to every single consequentialist framework, which is unless they, I, they can specify an explicit reason why consequentialist frameworks are uniquely so terribly different that they cannot answer each one uniquely, that's enough for you to vote on. Um, the last thing, I think that's everything. Oh, let me make sure I'm not dropping a shot. Um, we'll do an overview to the round rest on reasonability. They're going to go for competing interests. Does not. Uh, they're going to go for reasonability and vice arbitrary and judge intervention. Judge intervention again is inevitable even on theory shells. And norming doesn't solve. Norming is a, norming is an infinitely is, is an infinite race to the bottom, which we can always norm. Oh, uh, sorry. Again, spec shell. Spec is infinitely regressive. It justifies infinite spec, and we can spec things like hedonism. But then we also have to spec things like act hedonism, and then we have to spec more, which makes it fundamentally impossible to debate. And we're always having frivolous theory shells rather than debating. Good is good enough. Reasonability should apply. Uh, sorry. Sorry, forgot that. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, this one. going to be the URL shell and then like the front. Okay. It won't be like the parent that she's on that. Okay. Is that going good? The paradigm issues you show you can get new responses, but all of your responses are predicated on education, just like they were in the 1 and C. Our argument is that fairness totally outweighs, which was conceded from the 1 AC, and all of your arguments are literally, oh no, it doesn't allow for substance education, which had zero impact in the trial because you never wanted why that matters at all. Do the line by the now, the good is good enough, and judge intervention being inevitable, it's an is all fallacy. Just because judges do intervene some of the time doesn't mean we should make them intervene more by just making them determine theory abuse just off whether or not they particularly feel like they want to vote on theory that day. The norming is an infinite race to the bottom again, no impact because it should be always to the bottom because fairness is the only thing that matters, which means you should always, but it would be always to the top to the most fair rule, which means even if we exclude substance education, it doesn't matter because that has zero impact on the argument that you weigh between. Again, substance education has zero impact. You've conceded that fairness outweighs because every single argument you make actively concedes your authority of fairness, i.e. making the substance education outweighs argument presumes that you will evaluate that argument fairly, which means that it concedes your authority and that it's medically straight on the round, which means that it uh, totally outweighs, which is cross apply that to the super equivalence argument, the, 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 the drop the argument debate. You say uh, you say it into on the one of your time skews, that's inevitable through things like picks, et case, etc. This is exactly our argument, though. If the one in C skews the one year's time by reading infinite picks, this adds infinite condo, infinite condo etc., then it means that we should be able to pick out the abusive practices that they lead and then read, uh, then read shells on them so they lose for being abusive. But your argument is that people should just read as many abusive practices as they are, and it's inevitable that, uh, that the one area will be skewed. But our argument is that the one area needs to be able to check back on that through drop the debater on a theory shell in order to actually stop these sort of things from happening. Proves that even if it's, and also that it's not fallacy from above applies, even if it's somewhat inevitable that things will be somewhat skewed, making them totally way more skewed because we always, because because the two area can never win the shell, means that uh, means that it just becomes worse. I'll send the one for it here proper, uh, for both of the one for both of them here proper. The committing interest is that they would just allow the two to jump defense, which we can never actually set norms on shells and the uh, draw the debater because the, the two is too short to win by the substance and the shell, which means even if we win that they were abusive, they can just win on the abusive part of uh, some other abusive part of substance, which means that it outweighs. Now the uh, now the URL so you do a counter interrupt is just defending the converse, which means you have no offense. Your argument is if it's in a book, the the thing like 
the Magnus Code literally exists as a PDF online. Just because things exist as a book doesn't mean that they don't have URLs. You can look up this the name of the you can look up the name of the evidence and it, and it appears online independently. My intro says that if it's from a book, then you must have it, which proves that which means that it outweighs which means that it outweighs because it also justifies both norms. I.e., you just take I.e., you just copying evidence that you don't know that somebody else miscited and then reading it, which means that you should have the book to verify for yourself whether or not it's real independently. It exists online with the URL proven by my Yagi evidence. The Yagi evidence is all from a book, but I'm able to find the URL online and then put it so that people can actually check my evidence, which is why I don't do evidence evidence violations. The argument that uh, that norming doesn't solve, yes, it does. Strike literally started reading the URL against me because I beat them on it so many times. They don't, don't have a physical copy. You should have the physical copy, which is the shell. And even if you don't, it exists online, which means that it answers the which answers the rest of the arguments. I'll extend the offense here because they just straight conceded all of it, conceded the conceded rules. Argument the NSCA says that you must have a oh, source citation for the URL, which is a voter because if we can choose your rules to make things, just makes it travel along a lot, just by simply abuse. I always because the conceded rule of debate instead of just merely community noise also means that I always under reasonability because this shell is specifically is reasonable, predictable, fairness office. You can vote on straight, dropped out of the uh, two and all uh, straight, dropped out of the two and all. Also, the F ethics because I can't check whether or not the code exists, which uh, totally outweighs because it's an independent voter because it destroys the purpose of debate. Look, really easy. They conceded all the offense. Max Hill exists online. My shell says that if it's from a book, you must have it, which solves all of your offense because it's included on the intro and it literally exists as you are. Good round. Good round.